So our plan is to put the thermal energy storage right on top of this. It looks anything but futuristic. But inside the chassis of this classic mini rover, engineers are tinkering with ways to make electric car batteries go the extra mile. In the UK alone, one in eight cars bought so far this year were pure electric or hybrid vehicles. All the big car makers are racing to improve performance, but up to half the power of an electric car's battery is used to run the vehicle's heating and air conditioning. A big concern for many drivers thinking about switching to electric, but this team think they have a solution. Using excess heat generated by the battery to warm the car or power a cooling system. The advantage of it is it can simply use the heat pre-stored inside the material. And when we need to use the heat, we just release the energy from the material and use that energy to heat up the cars. So it's as simple as that. It's hoped this low carbon heating and cooling system will revolutionize electric cars, allowing them to drive further at a lower cost and also boosting their popularity. The world's first electric forecourt offers a glimpse of what's to come. It takes just a matter of minutes to supercharge a vehicle, just enough time to wander around the all-electric service station, even a little workout, with the energy generated from this bike fed straight back into the charging stations. We've often been tarnished with the anxiety word in this industry in terms of um, range anxiety and charge anxiety. They're very negative phrases, and we want to sort of dispel those and move those away. And I think range anxiety is a diminishing phraseology because the vehicles are going so much further now. You know, two or three, four hundred miles even um, in certain cases is not necessarily um, that far away from being reality. Some developers are going one step further with technology that can charge vehicles wirelessly at home or on the move along special roads that allow charging whilst driving. We're fast approaching a tipping point where the mass adoption of electric cars seems unavoidable. Battery costs are falling, cars are getting cheaper and governments around the world are setting ambitious targets to cut carbon emissions. But there are still technological bumps in the road, from infrastructure to performance, that engineers are now racing to overcome. Eve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.